you were vocal after the playoff exit. You said the team's only been to the third round twice. You have to look at the way we do things. Is there anything in specific that fans can expect to see different? There's one thing that's major, and that's a good question, Pat. The major thing is we're going to try to build this cycle within our own draft. We had nine picks in the first four rounds last draft, but we didn't start that day with that amount of picks. We were able to move our nine to 13 in order to get the number 20, and then we moved 20 to 21 to get a third round pick. And while doing all that, we were able to earn a second round pick next year, and a first round pick actually too. So we've been able to, to move picks in order to have more picks in the first four rounds. You do that when you have confidence in your scouting staff. If you look at our team last year, Pat, our key players, our goalie, number one, Alex Belanger, Mike Jolly, who signed with the Rangers, Giovanni Fiore, Mas Carosa, Ali LeBlanc, Loic Leveille, Alex Gosling. All those guys were acquired through trade. They weren't drafted here. And what we want to do for the next cycle is to end up at a situation where we're going for a cup, we're going for a championship with mature players, players that are ready to take on big duties, big responsibilities, and those guys were brought up on our team. They were brought up from the get-go. Their first taste of major junior hockey was wearing a Screen Eagles jersey. I think that the feeling of commitment towards the team and connection with the fans is going to be better for a guy that's 16 years old here and grows into a situation where at 19 years old, we have one of the top teams. So that's what we're trying to do. It doesn't mean we're never going to trade again. We'll be using assets and we'll be creating abundance in certain positions. But down the road, we want our, our major core, our main core to be from here.